Hey guys, how's it going? So it is time for our completed pages video. So first a couple of disclaimers. Uh, this is an adult coloring channel. Uh, it is not intended for kids in any way. Um, also all the links to all the books and everything will be down in the description. Uh, they are affiliate links, which means I get a small commission for anything bought through the links, but there is no additional charge to you. So, I'm just gonna jump straight into it, and we'll start with Chibi Girls, because I did a whole lot of Chibi Girls this month, or last month. Uh, so, see, I did this one. See, I used a hoo-hoo's on it, uh, Copics, and some Color It Gel Pen. Uh, so it's very sparkly. Uh, this was like a picture that, this was like my least favorite picture in this book. So, but I did it. And it looks pretty okay. So, let's see next. I think I've done like 12 pages in this book. Let's see, I did this one. Um, with Ohuhu's, I think. And some Sparkle Pop. Um, I think that's it. Um, I think we did this on a stream. I can't remember. Uh, let's see. Next, we did this one. This was definitely a stream picture. Uh, I used my Copics, um, uh, my Ohuhu's, and the Liquid Chrome pen for the, uh, I mirrored out or, or whatever the um, picture on the wall so um, yeah Let's see uh, then we did this one this was another stream um, I used uh, Copics and oh uh, I think that's it really for this one um, I remember my marker ran out in the middle of the green uh, so let's see, and then we did this one, uh, with Ohuhu's, I think I used Ohuhu's on everything in this book, um, yeah, I think that was another stream, I can't remember if I said that, but yeah. Let's see, then we did this one with markers and a white gel pen. And uh, looks like some sparkle pop on her necklace thing. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't remember. Wow, got such a bad memory. Uh, let's see, we did this one. Uh, with markers and gel pens. Uh, I don't like this picture for some reason. Not sure why. Let's see. And then we did this one. Uh, with, you know, markers and gel pens. Um, I think this was another stream. I'm pretty sure I streamed most of these pictures. Let's see, then we did this one. Markers and gel pens. Um, I like her hair. I like the red hair. Um, let's see, then we did this one. This was another one of those that I didn't like like too much. I think the background is too busy. It's got like too much stuff. I don't know. But it's alright. It turned out pretty pretty okay, so. Uh let's see. Then we did this one. Um and there's a dog hair on it. Imagine that. Uh let's see. Uh, 
this is another one that I wasn't like I don't like the tiny flowers that they sometimes put in in the bushes makes it very hard to color with markers especially on this paper so but it turned out you know not too bad so I think that is it for this book actually I got two pictures left in this book I'm gonna try to finish it this month or supposed to last month but you know I just didn't <laughs> Okay, so moving on to Fairies 3 by Christine Karen. It's the grayscale one. Uh, I just finished it this morning. Uh, this is what we did for the Fairies and Fall colorathon. I'm really happy with this one. Uh, we used uh, pan pastels and um, luminance pencils and Prismacolor. So I really like her hair and I'm very happy with her skin. Not too sure about the background and the leaves, but I think she turned out pretty good. So that's for this one. Let's see, move that out the way. Then we've got Menuet uh, Debun Hor. Sorry, I'm probably butchering that name. Uh, see there, zoom in a little bit. See, we did this was like a forever whip. Um, I did the the little piglets months and months and months ago, and I never finished it, but finished it last week, I think. So I'm really happy with this one. I really like how it all came out. Um, it took forever to do but it was a lot of fun and I really like how it came out so that's it for that book uh, then I did like a really really quick one in this one uh, send doodle coloring uh, under the seas by Deborah Miller um, yeah I did this one it's only watercolors I used uh, what did I use uh, I used, uh, I can't remember what I used, but it was only watercolor. Um, probably some Daniel Smith and maybe some Sennelier watercolor. I think, yeah. So, this was like, just like a, a super quick one. I think it, I wanted to color something right before a stream. Um, or right before I was going to go do something and, um, I didn't want to start like a whole big picture. So I did this one. Let's see. So that's that one. Then we did. We colored in Fedorables to Fantasy Beasts by Selena Fennec. Let's see. We did this little cute baby dragon. Uh, this was uh, markers and pencils and lots and lots and lots of stickles. Um, this one was a lot of fun and it's so cute so had a lot of fun doing that one then we also did a picture out of the world's cutest animal coloring book it's by Lulu Mayo you know the, the lady that has all the million books like million sloths, million bears uh so i did this one this was a really fun stream uh like i started it on st on stream and then finished it like on my own uh and we used i think prismas on it it was just like a really quick and fun thing um simple it was a lot of fun though so there's that one then I was gifted this really beautiful book. Um, so we did this page out of it. Um, I used pan pastels and Prismacolors, I think. Stick my sticky thing back on. 
uh, and possibly some Pablos. Uh, yeah, I think we use Pablos on it too. And then the background and the little gemmy things, they sparkle, but it's watercolor. Um, and the background is watercolor too. Um, so, and it's, I think it's Daniel Smith watercolor, because I'm pretty sure this is Moon Glow. It's called, uh, it's a Daniel Smith specialty color, and then this is Amethyst Genuine. Uh, for the gems around there. I thought it turned out really cute. So, um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for this book. So, but it's a really beautiful book. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> then we did a page in Saga of Sangno by um, Emilia Lidahol Urbag. Uh, let's see. Dog hair. Um, we did this page. This was um only ink tints page. Uh, so we only used ink tints on it. It was a lot of fun. And I thought it turned out pretty cute. So I really like this one. Um, yeah. So then I did... <laughs> I did a page in this one. It's <laughs> Skylanders. It's by Crayola. Uh, it's a really fun book and it's super cute. And I did a page in here. Yes, it came with crayons. That's why there's a hole here. Um, let's see, I did this page in only Crayola crayons. Um, I did it, I think, at the beginning of the month, I think. Um, and I thought it turned out pretty cool. Um, you know, it's not too bad. I mean, it's a crayon page, but I'm, I haven't used crayons since I was really little. Uh, I did use a blender pen or blender marker to, like, smooth that out a little bit because it was kind of blotchy, but I thought it turned out really cute. So, see, there's that for this book. Uh, this one was like another just fun one. Mary got me a box of crayons, so I figured I'd use them. Then uh, we also did a page in Mythical Maidens. Um, let's see, and oh, thank god I wrote down what I used on it. Uh, we used Ohuhu's and Copics for a base. Um, and Polly's on top with some white gel pen for the clouds and of course some stickles because a dragon needs sparkles so I thought he turned out really cute or they turned out really cute and I really like this page so there's that then I did Misfit I always do misfits. I love, love, love misfits. Um, and I did this one. I think that was another stream, actually. Um, and I used Ohuhu's on it with Black Widows and some Paul Rubens shimmery paint or glitter paint or whatever it's called. I can't remember. But I thought it turned out really cute. And I like how... I don't know, I just really like this one. I think it's one of my favorites this month, actually. Just because I think, it, I think it looks really cool. So, there's that one. Let's see, I've done a lot this month. Let's see, then I did a page out of Light and Dark Fantasy by Jade Summer. Uh, let's see, we did this one. This was also a stream, I think. Uh, and I used Copics and Ohuhu's and uh, Sparkle Pop and Stickles. Um, I used Stickles down here for the scales or the armor, whatever that is. And for the horn and a little jemmy thing. And then gel pens for the little flowers and stuff. I thought it turned out pretty cool. Oh, sorry. Not even in frame. My bad. Um, I really like this one. I love the Jade Summer Grayscale books. It's 
just so much fun to just like play around with markers and stickles and gel pens and stuff so I like how that one turned out Let's see. then we also did one out of fairies 2 by Christine Karen uh, let's see uh, we did this one this was a screen picture um, because I really wanted to color a boy because there's not that many boys to color um, so we did him and I had, we had a lot of fun with him uh, I don't remember what I used oh I used pan pastels luminance and don't want light fast um, let's see. Ugh, if I only could lay flat and uh it was i think one of the first times i used like pan pastels with a background and it turned out pretty cool so i really like him so and i really like his hair so there's this one and then let's see almost done i think we got like two pictures left then we did a page out of romantic country the third tail, I've taken my dust jackets off because they just annoy me and they flop around, they move and, you know, stuff. So, let's see, we did this page right here. This was another forever whip that I decided to finish. And, let's see, I used... Uh, the Derwent Light Fast pencils, luminance, pobbles, and some sparkle pop. And I really like how it came out. I really like this one right here. And I like this one. Um, so I thought it turned out really cute. So there is that for that book. Uh, oh, let me put piece of paper back in here and then I did a page in Twilight Garden I can't even remember which one um, ah I did this one this was with ink tens and distress inks um, I'm not like too happy with it because I'm still practicing with my distress inks but it's not too bad um, it, this was more like a just for fun page. <clears throat> I wanted to do something in just like inks, so I just did this one. Um, to like just play around, I got some like inking brushes that I haven't used a whole lot, so I figured it's a big space, I can, you know, just play away, so that's what I did. So, it's not too bad. Not my favorite, definitely not my favorite. But, not too bad. Very blotchy. But, got to figure out a way to not make the Distress Ink look so blotchy. So. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, that is it for this month. Um, hopefully, um, we'll have just as much to share next month. Um... So if you stuck it through the whole video, um, kudos to you. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, and hopefully we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.